Biashara. It's very... oh, so my name is George. I'm here representing Biashara Masters. We are dealers in uh, wood uh, machines. And uh, the machine that we have here is a Rhino 500. It's used for cutting timber. And uh, it's very efficient because the recovery, the recovery rate is very high. Uh, as you can see the wastage from the small soda that there, it's very minimal. So <clears throat> I'll let my friend here to demonstrate uh, when he cuts through the wood so that you can see that uh, the effectiveness, efficiency and accuracy of the machine. Eh? So as you can see, the displacement is small. So the displacement, when we look at displacement, we count it as wastage, yeah? because displacement is what makes the sawdust. So if you look at the sawdust, it's very little, that's coming from there because the displacement is small, and the blade, eh? the blade is very small, because of the size of the blade. So the blade is thin? Yeah, the bread is thin as compared to the power saw, as compared to the band saws. So no wastage? No wastage. Okay. Retro wastage, and it helps to conserve the environment of the few trees that we have left. Yeah. It's really value for money. Yeah, it's value for money. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> for people who want to come into commercial, to commercial business or commercial saw milling, it is effective and it gives them the value for money. What about the cost of this uh, machine? The cost for this machine is 1.7. Uh, it's inclusive of uh, other accessories, that is the sharpener, the setter, cost for training and uh, delivery and installation of the same. Yeah, so you guys are doing uh, both, uh, are you doing, uh, are you in the saw milling business and also selling? We are, the, we are in the saw milling business. Yeah. We are also in the business of uh, selling these machines. But we, was, we have also updated, we also sell uh, MDF boards, we also sell uh, chip boards. Those are wood products. Those are wood products eh? yeah. So for instance, like the chip boards, eh? yeah. the off cuts that remain, eh? if we have cut and we have a, an off cut, that off cut is the one that we grind and we mix with the sawdust so that we come up with a product that's known as a chip board. Eh? Okay. So maximize utilization of the wood product. The wood and also you have the best machine. Yeah. So where are you based in Kandagani? We are based in Njoro, yeah. around uh, the Njoro Bagon Road. Okay. Yeah, 600 meters from Njoro town. Okay. Yeah. Ah, so you've come all the way? Yeah, we have come all the way from Njoro. Yeah. yeah, so that we can be able to inform people, inform farmers of a machine that can be able to make them utilize their pro wood product. Okay. Yeah. Ah, fine, fine, fine. So, uh, where do you get your wood from? Babu, there are many farmers, Kama uh, Nyandarwa, they have a tea growers association. Yeah, we get it. We get it from the farmers. Farmers. Yeah. yeah, we go and get farmers and they sell us their trees, okay. sell us their produce, yeah. Are you dealing with individual farmers or...? Uh, Mostly, we have been dealing with individual farmers. Individual. We have not yet started dealing with organized farmers yet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. So, uh, challenges kubo kwa biashara ya these machines it requires a lot of money a lot of expertise yeah no uh, as a company challenges in the face uh, the challenge that i will say uh, that is there it's for all businesses i cannot say per se the wood product yeah? so the cost of energy steam electric and water power that is the cost of raw materials that is uh, wood products eh? as compared to our neighboring countries like tanzania and uganda there their wood is much cheaper than us here so those are the main challenges also like a machine for this one is quite capital intensive so it kind of cuts off a lot of would be buyers from it yeah okay so how, how long have you been in business uh, for the machines, for setting these with machines, we have been setting them for around 10 years. 
but for the company it was founded around 1983 so it has been there for been there 30 for years a uh, quite a while now selling the machines specifically like Maza. no for this exact version of machines these yeah. somilas machines yeah. eh? we have we started selling them around 2011. 2011 yeah so it's like 10 years but we have also been selling other machines that are workshop based eh? yeah. workshop based machines to for those ones we have been selling them prior okay. yeah so uh, for these kind of machines uh, who are clients when on a talk of this they from nakuru county I'm outside nakuru so we have clientele from all over the country uh -huh. we have sold machines in mombasa we have sold uh, in nairobi we also also, also sold a machine to kefri uh, here to kefri yeah to kefri when you to machine okay yeah uh, that is good yeah quite encouraging yeah uh, yeah so i'm going to talk on a story neza uliza and then so you have talked of okay. about the recovery rate, so 40%. My question is about the recovery rate. You have talked of minimal recovery rate. So my question is at what percentage? I cannot quantify and put it in a percentage, but if I want to put it in a percentage, uh, if I were to put it in a percentage, I would give it an 80% percentage. Because if you look at the size of a uh, roller bench, eh, it's twice the size of my hand. Eh? So if you look at this blade and compare it to a roller bench, I would say it <coughs> give you an 80% recovery rate. Because we are basing it versus the tools that we have been using before. That is the power saw and uh, the roller bench. Yeah. Yes, for this formula, I can see the the space for the log is quite limited, and for the local farmers nowadays, we are eating into the indigenous trees, like my area. They're cutting mango trees, and so maybe is there an, a, another bigger than this which can at least sow a bigger bigger diameter? Yes, yes. Now, for these machines, they go per their versions. Like for this one, uh, the Rhino 500, eh? uh, it can cut a diameter, the width, eh? the width is 70, 70 centimeters. For this LT20, the diameter it can be able to hold is 80 centimeters. If now you buy an LT70, for that one it can be able to cut a tree whose, diam uh, whose now width is one meter. Yeah. So it can be able to accommodate all types of trees because I don't think we have still trees around that are beyond a meter in diameter. in width eh? second yeah. diameter that is diameter, diameter. Yeah. that's diameter yeah. hmm? a meter in diameter it's a huge 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 huge, huge. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's yeah, also not yet but we also have nini kuna zingine kubwa zinaitwa WM that 500 yeah. that can be able to handle 1.5 1.5 1 1.5 meters mm. that's the biggest we have eh? yeah. but now for those ones they are very capital intensive they are very huge so we have yeah. very little yeah. clients for yeah. those people yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 What happens in if you put a kit of my as I slice it? Yeah, as I slice twice, then you remain with one beam, we should break it once, then move on to the other. The cost here is what? The cost for this is 1.7 million, inclusive uh, transport, installation, and accessories. Huh? That is the sharpener, setter, and blades. 1.7 1. million. No, 1.7 million. We'll deliver it to wherever you are. You are the ones who are going inclusive, to install it. Inclusive. inclusive of transportation to where you are. 
uh, installation, setting up of the machine. Then you can bring your operators for training so that you can be able to show him how to operate the machine. The accessories that we have are the ones for sharpening this blade and setting it up. Eh? Yeah. And also we give you a package of 10 blades to start with. Yeah. Spare, spare. spare parts, we also deal with these spare parts. Eh? We have spares for all these machines. Yeah. No, it's, the same, but it's just a bigger version. A bigger it's version of this. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. much more automated than this. Because this one is kind of manual. Uh, so, if you take a Pandisha Jew. Pandisha Jew. Pandisha Jew. Pandisha when you turn the air, you can see the gate. You can see the gate. You can the gate. You You offer apart from the You can see the gate. You can see we also do with wood products, as, as I was telling you. Yeah, with the MDF boards, the cheap boards. We also deal with uh, doors. We also sell uh, plywoods. Those are our business. Also, wood. What now is that in Bao? Yeah. No, this now is a sawmill. Okay. Machine on. Okay. We now have machines for TNG workshop. Workshop. So for workshop, for if you want TNGs, you'll have to deal with a fork, a machine known as a fork cutter, or a speed molder. Those are the machines now that are designed for you TNGs. Zakutole had the grooves, kuizo ma grooves in those kind of unfisher boards. Those are the machines that you deal with when you want to make those. These are for sawmill purposes only. There are those for workshop. Hmm? Yeah. For workshop, that's a speedo for cutter and uh, planar thicknesses. Zero is a big around. Yeah. Yeah. We are located in Jor. Uh, in in Karnakuru County, yeah. Yeah. around in Jor at Bagon Road. But I'll take your contact so that it was a communicate. Yeah. Biashara masters, eh? These are the biashara master. Mm. I know how to attack him chairs <laughs> for this. Thank you. 